What's that? Little dusky salamander. There guy. Oh, that's cool. What is it? Little dusky. Look this rock. Daxter, guys out. Oh, oh. Got a Lucy. Got a Lucy salamander. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. That's the target of the weekend. Oh, such a cool salamander. Look how pretty that is. I'm really excited about this. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Um, probably about 10 years or so. This was actually the target species of the camping trip. So I am really excited to see this salamander. This is a Yana Lucy salamander. This is such a cool salamander, in my opinion. Just look at the coloration on this thing. They have this really broad head which is common of a plethodon species, which is what this is. And it, it just kind of, it goes from black into this like bronze reddish coloration and then back into that black edge of the tail. This is such a cool salamander. I just, I think this salamander is so beautiful. Just look at that thing. That is awesome. I am so happy we found this thing. Look at that. Back under your rock. There you go. There he goes. Tuck him into bed. Yep. Good night. So this right here, if you can zoom in close, uh, this may not be quite as exciting for us as the Yana Lucy that we just saw that was the target of the trip, but it was only not, it's only not as exciting because we've seen a lot of these in Maryland. Um, this is a type of spring salamander. It's different than the ones we see in Maryland. Um, we see northern spring salamanders, but this is a Blue Ridge salamander. He actually has a piece missing from his tail. Probably got in a fight with another salamander. He probably won too. Only lost part of his tail. So we decided to take a camping trip out to the southern mountains of Virginia. Now there are a lot of different species of salamander out here and we did bring our good herpin dog, Daxter, here. This salamander that was under this, this is a gray cheek salamander. I don't want to handle him too much so I'm probably just going to let him get on his way, but I don't know if you can get in here and see him. Streams like this in a lot of mountain habitat, they're very pristine, very clean, which they can produce a lot of salamanders. So you can see here that these salamanders, they have a lot of bronze, gold, brown coloration to them. They're actually really pretty in my opinion, especially for a dusky salamander. A lot of people overlook duskies. What, the rock? No, the fucking black belly. This is a pretty big dusky salamander. Look at the size of that thing. That is cool. So cool that they can get that big. So we have another species of salamander here. If you can zoom in here, get a good look at this guy. This is a white spotted slimy salamander. Now I'm definitely not going to want to handle this guy because these actually secrete um, a toxin out of their tails. If you want to get in real close and look at this, it's kind of white. It's really neat to see, um, but what they do is they secrete the poison out of their tail, um, so then if a predator tries to eat it, it tastes disgusting. It's just one of their defense mechanisms. They're a really neat little salamander. I definitely don't want to pick this up just because if you get that stickiness on your hand, it's, it's not only does it feel gross, but you know, if you could accidentally ingest it by maybe like forgetting to wash your hands or something like that and then eating something or something like that. So we're just gonna admire this guy from a distance and uh, take a couple pictures. Going after the salamander? What's wrong with you? That was bad. So come in here and check this little guy out. This is a pygmy salamander. This is actually a species of dusky salamander. Dusky salamanders are usually found in wet conditions. This type of dusky salamander actually prefers a drier condition. This is a terrestrial salamander, which is really interesting for a type of dusky. Really cool. They don't get too big. This one, they're pretty colorful, nice gold coloration in them. Really cool salamander. You want to get in here and check them out. So we got another species of dusky salamander. This guy here, this is a seal salamander. They don't have the black belly, like a lot of the black bellies around here, because that is one of the most common. 
but their tails are more of a knife shape. And one distinguishing factor that most dusky salamanders do not have, and only the seal salamander has, is on the tip of their toes, they have little black dots. Very hard to see unless you get a hold of them. But this, this is a cool salamander. We get them back in Maryland, so we've seen them before. But it's still really cool to see them. So I'm just gonna let him go, be on his way. So we started climbing up this mountain and we are now above 5,100 feet. Now, as you get higher up the mountain, the habitat changes. That also means the wildlife changes as you're gonna start getting a higher elevation, specifically salamander. Right now, because we are out looking for salamanders. There, are, this salamander right here, this is a very height specific salamander. You will not find them at lower elevations. This is a Weller salamander. If you wanna get in here and check this guy out, it's really cool looking salamander. It's got this black body and he's got this like gold silvery flecking color all throughout his body. And just the, the matching with that black just makes him look so unique. It's a really cool salamander to find. It's a lot of work getting up here, especially because we've been flipping rocks the whole way. My body is telling me no, but my mind's telling me yes. So we're gonna keep going and we're gonna try to find more. I don't know how much more we can find. Dax is coming to check him out. Don't come over here, you don't need to check him out, bud. But this is awesome to see. Awesome to find something that is a elevation specific or endemic to certain mountain ranges. Always awesome to see that stuff. So we're gonna take a few photos and we're gonna continue out our trip.